I'm Reverend Alston, Associate Pastor at Washington Street United Methodist Church. My devotion today deals with the troubled times in which we find ourselves. We've been facing a pandemic of COVID-19 for months now. In addition, another pandemic, the long-standing pandemic of racism, has been in the news recently with the coverage of the senseless killings of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. All people everywhere, and especially our brothers and sisters in the African American community, are upset over the loss of life. Everyone, regardless of their race or skin color, is upset over the disregard for the sanctity of human life that we have seen. We should all be appalled by these incidents, as well as the rampant discrimination in our society that allows incidents like these to occur. Friends, we are all equal in the sight of God who created us and calls us beloved children. We are not only loved by God, but in response to this great love, we are called to love everyone. Jesus, God in the flesh, both modeled and taught this love because love was of utmost importance to him. In Matthew 22, verses 34 through 39, he is asked, what is the greatest commandment? And he responds, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. That is the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Later in the Gospel of Luke, Someone asked Jesus to qualify exactly who their neighbor is, and he tells the parable of the Good Samaritan to show that our neighbor is everybody. Thus, the love that we are called to show has no limits. We are to love people of every race, creed, and color. We are called to love people regardless of their gender, sexual orientation, or economic status. We are called to love people who are both liberal and conservative, Republican and Democrat. We are called to love people who are nice to us, as well as the people who are not. We are called to love people who are Protestant, Catholic, Buddhist, Hindu, Muslim, Jewish, agnostic, and atheist. We are called to love with no exceptions. I know this is hard. I struggle with it too. Loving everybody with no exceptions. We can't love like this without divine help. As we grow in our faith and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in us gives us the power to love like Jesus did. To help us grow in our ability to love like Jesus, the reconciling team at Washington Street is proposing that everyone in our congregation and any of you who join us virtually to read a book called Love Without Limits with, by Jacqueline Bussey. Um, during the week we're going to read this book during the month of June, and then during the week of June 22nd, we will host a couple of one-session times of discussion so we can see what we have learned from this book and how it has helped us broaden our ability to love. Uh, to be included in this discussion, which will probably be virtual, but we'll see closer to the time, uh, please email me at aflippert at umcsc.org. Um, in this time of pandemic and polarization, I urge you to love without limits. Let us pray. Lord, you loved us so much, you were willing to humble yourself and become human so that you could show us what divine love looks like. You lifted us up, included us, and you loved everyone 
the marginalized, the outcasts, the people that others thought had no worth. Lord, please give us the strength and ability to love like you do. In the precious and holy name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.